Hi guys. In this video I thought we would build this little kit. Um, it's co just called the radio receiver and it comes with two of these long lengths of wire. You can see the white one in the pick there. They're both the same length. It comes with one crystal earpiece, a germanium diode, A um, bunch of nails, two screws, there's this little plastic tube thing, a sticker. Over there is all the wood for the frame. A bit of dowel. A couple of different sized bits of dowel. Connector block, copper pin, tuning coil, short piece of wire, and they even include a screwdriver. So, I've already skimmed through the instructions which are here as well, just off camera there. The only thing you really need to supply is a hammer and I've also supplied a plug simply because it'll be the easiest way to earth this because it's got to be earthed otherwise it won't work. Alright, I'm just going to get the zoom somewhere there. So, I do believe we've got to start with this bit which has got to be fitted on there. So what I'm actually going to do, because I have pre-drilled some holes, so I'm going to take a couple of these little pins, tiny little nails, I'm going to see if I can just push them in there to get them started. This may be a little bit of noise here. I don't think it matters which way round they go, so long as they go on. So I'm going to try and hold that as level and straight as I can. One. Two. My neighbour is probably thinking, what the hell? Now I'm just going to put this piece of dowel in there. Because that's what you slide up and back and forth to do the tuning. That's also got to go in there. I'm going to push that through a little bit further than it should go. I'm going to do the same again. I'm going to push a couple of pins in here. I don't actually know. I might have been off camera when I did that bit. So uh, apologies if I was. It is so hard. You know. To keep your eye. It's me trying to push a bloody nail through. A black dot. Not a hole. It's so hard to keep your eye on the camera. And what you're doing at the same time. It really does help. To have a cameraman. The only problem is, cameraman is not in my budget. <laughs> so that slides through there. I should be able to hold that and just uh, tap these in. Yeah. It's um, MDF, by the way, if you're wondering. Then I do believe we've just got this one on the front. Which is just basically a bit of wood they put on there. One, to strengthen it a bit and two, it uh, allows the sticker to be put on. So, if I get hold of the nails, there's just four of these little pin nails. There is a name for them, and I've actually forgotten what it is. Let me just push in. I already had thought of it, because they push in right really easily, so you can get your nails started like that. Make sure this is all in place, and in theory, if I get it right, one thack and this nail is in. Because, like I said, it's only MDF, it's uh, pretty soft. There we go. That's basically, the framework. Oops. That one went down the edge and split it, but never mind. Right. 
So I've done that bit. Now this bit's got to go in the middle. Um, for that we've got two screws. One in the end. I didn't think this would actually take me that long to put together. I did tell mum, it ain't going to take me long. <laughs> so what I'm going to do... Screwdriver's quite small, it's not ideal for this, but it works. And yeah, you could do a slightly larger slotted screwdriver. <laughs> Ow. That is also why I hate slotted screws. Ow. So I'm guessing I've just got to screw these in until it pinches it. Would you believe it? This is the most time consuming part so far. <laughs> Place. This one screwed down a bit more. I don't know if it's got to actually nip it or just, well, I suppose it'd be alright just hanging in there like that. Hang in there, it'll be alright. Just to make sure it don't slide off. Yeah. Is it this one? Yep, that's the one I seem to have already stripped the lacquer back because this is copper wire, but it's um, coated in a lacquer. So they do include a bit of sandpaper here to to. Um, do this with. It's not actually looking square that woodwork but I'm not actually sure if that's me or the woodwork. Right, I've got to remember how to do this now. I think I'll just I'll give you a circuit diagram as well in the instructions. It also gives you the history of it as well. Right. Oh, that's really easy. So, I'm going to use green for the earth because here in Britain, green and yellow is often used as the colour for earth, so it saves confusion. So, I'm going to get that. Uh, that has actually got to go at the end of this copper wire. from the tuning coil. I only need one end so you just pick an end. Well I presume you just pick an end because it doesn't actually say which end, it just says grab one end. But, uh, I'm guessing as it's just one continuous length of copper wire it doesn't matter. Now what I'm going to do, so I can connect this to a good earth, I'm going to connect it into this little plug. just makes things a bit easier because then I just plug it into the socket and I've got an earth. So, I've taken the fuse and whatnot out because we don't need that and that will just liven that up unnecessarily. I didn't think that screw was going to undo for a second there. You don't have to do it this way, you could find an, an earth on your water pipe or something to uh, to use. I'm just doing it this way because it's easier for me. The 
earth is ready. Now it doesn't actually say which way round the germanium diode's got to go, so I'm presuming it don't matter. But if it doesn't work, then all I can do is switch the wires around. Right. Slow piece done. They're quite thin, so you might actually be better off. Unless you're good with some wire strippers, you might be better off using your teeth. Or I am, because I can gauge the depth a bit better. Right, that's got to go in there. screwdriver they actually include with this it could have been a heck of a lot worse not the best but like I said it's definitely not the worst it's even got a little clip on it so you can clip it onto your shirt or something see or a tool belt right we're getting there let's do the diode next it just goes across here So simple, isn't it? I've only got two wires to connect now. Right, that's the germanium diode in. Yep, that's in. Now, what I've got to do is get this black wire, which I've actually got to push one end through here, like so. Not quite enough bare metal. It says to strip enough off so it comes out the other end of that wooden dial. Just haven't figured out what the little plastic tube's for. There's nothing in the instructions for that either. Right. So what I need to do... That's bad. Put that through there. And then your little copper nail. Which doubles up as uh, your tuning pin. It literally just pushes in there like that. So there's the tuner, and you just basically just move it along. Simple. This is your antenna. So it doesn't specify the colours of the wire in here either, so you can use green for the antenna if you wished. Real simple little circuit this is. But apparently during the war, and I can't remember if it was the first, second, or both, um, this is the sort of thing they would have made out in the field, because they could make it like this, you know? Required so little components, you could probably find taking certain things apart and whatnot. So, I don't know if this is going to work, I've just got to move you for a minute. I've got the earpiece in. I need a ground. I'm not getting anything. the diode round because it could be that Nope. 
Not even getting any hiss. I was reading the instructions at the moment. Shops on the radio can be approved by connecting it to a ground earth. Any piece of metal that eventually leads to earth. The earth for a crystal radio acts like another aerial, so that works well. As an aerial will also work well as an earth. Try experimenting with different earths and aerials. So that's the air. I need to connect that to some metal as well. <laughs> uh. Oh! I actually heard hiss. So I'm now holding bare metal. Well, it is actually working. I'm not picking up anything, but it does say. But uh, what's being used as a good earth makes a good aerial. So. Got an idea. Let's connect both ends to this ground pin. Bloody water on the floor. Yeah. I'm guessing the, I think this is AM wave. I'm pretty certain that's what it picks up. what this sort of radio is actually called. It's called a crystal radio. Right. Don't know if this is actually going to work. Apparently not. What I'm going to do, we've got it built, that was the main purpose of this video, I'm actually going to experiment with different antennas and things, so uh, I'll say thanks a lot for watching, um, I will update you in future videos if I can actually get this to do something. 
So uh, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.